Hey there, Flat Picker. In today's lesson, we're going to be checking out a high octave version of the melody to the classic tune Blackberry Blossom. If you've been keeping up with the channel here, I taught a low octave version of this melody before, but this lesson focuses on a version of the melody that's a really great addition to your bluegrass toolbox. You may have heard me talk about it here before on the channel, but when you learn a bluegrass fiddle tune, I think it's a great idea to learn that tune in as many octaves on your instrument, in this case the guitar, as possible. That way you've got two to three different versions of the tune that you can bust out at any point in time, which kind of helps you unlock the guitar's fingerboard and phrase the melody differently when it comes around a couple times for your solo and your jam circle. So today we're going to be tackling that high octave version of the melody. Now a lot of you will probably find this one pretty difficult because there's a pretty large stretch in the left hand that happens between the third fret and the seventh fret on the high E string. But don't worry, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks for how to tackle that one with ease. Okay, before we go ahead and dive into any of the demonstration for this tune, let's go ahead and see what this sounds like at 200 beats per minute, okay? This may be pretty fast for a lot of you going by right now, but all I want you to get from this is to just kind of soak in the melody to the tune a little bit and get an idea for where my left hand is moving across the melody to this tune. All right, here's Blackberry Blossom, high octave melody, 200 beats per minute. Let's go. All right, my friend, there you have it, the high octave version of this melody at 200 BPMs. Now, for a lot of us, that's gonna be really cooking, and we probably won't be able to attain that tempo just yet, but that's quite all right, because I've got some exercises for you and your left hand to kind of get that stretch in shape so you can tackle the A part with ease. All right, friends, let's grab our guitars and start tackling the A part here. So as you notice, when I was playing it, we've got three, five, seven. Those are the first three notes in the tune, and dang, look at that stretch, right? That's a pretty big one there. So the one thing that I wanna talk about with the left hand is make sure that your, your thumb and your index finger are lined up at any point in time. And what I mean by that is, when you're phrasing a note on the third fret with your index finger, the thumb could, should kinda be like right behind it. You're almost like pinching with the two fingers on that fret. What that's gonna allow us to do is, is kind of give us a good anchor to stretch the rest of those fingers out into that really kind of daunting three, five, seven finger shape here. One thing that we can do here to kind of work out this passage before we actually start playing the tune is just play it over and over again as a little melodic cell. And if you listen to that melodic cell, you probably notice that that's a familiar kind of passage, right? If you're into children's tunes, that is, Frere Jacques. <laughs> so, just kind of play that up and down. And you'll notice one thing that I'm doing in my left hand. As I'm ascending, I don't lift my fingers, so I'm going... And as I place my pinky down, my middle finger is still on that fret. What that allows us to do is these two fingers kind of press the string down closer to the fret, which means that we'll need less pressure to put the string down on our pinky note. Kind of makes the job uh, a little easier on our pinky note right there, and I think that's going to help you out. So let's go ahead and, and dive into learning the first couple measures here. So you'll notice that we've got three, five, seven, three. Those are the first four notes. And then we kind of take that pattern and just move it down one note in the G major scale. It's a little melodic cell that's repeated through the tune. And that stretch is already a little bit easier for us, right? It's only a, a four fret spread instead of a five. And I like to keep my hand in that kind of second position, so I end up phrasing 
uh, middle finger on that third fret, and then index finger on that second fret as we're descending. And then keep them there. And then pretty much the whole thing repeats. But check this out. We've got a zero two to kind of pick us back up into that phrase, and then we need to shift up to get to that third fret again. So it's gonna look like this. And then things kind of change to take us into the turnaround on the A part. And then, And that's it for the A part, my friend. I think with that bit of information, we've got enough to tackle the rest of this tune. Okay, friends and neighbors, that's it for some tips and tricks on how to tackle Blackberry Blossom high octave melody. Let's go ahead and cue up that version at 160 beats per minute. Now, right now, let's have a little mindfulness moment, all right? Take a few deep breaths, and then what I want you to do is just listen to this tune, maybe even twice through, to see if you can capture some of those melody notes inside your head before you even try to play them on the guitar. So, that being said, listen through the melody once. If you don't have the tune in your head, pause, rewind, and then do it again. I think this is a really great thing to do as musicians. If we kind of try to internalize the music before we try to play it, externalize it, then we're going to have a lot more success when we're trying to put hands to the instrument, okay? Here's Blackberry Blossom, high octave melody at 160 beats per minute. Okay, my friend, there's the version at 160 beats per minute. If that was still too fast for you, let's go ahead and dive into a version of this tune at 100 beats per minute. This one's going to be nice and slow, but even if it's too fast for you, you can use that gear icon below to slow things down even more. Now, let's have another mindfulness moment, take a couple deep breaths, all right, put ourselves inside of our body, and let's get ready to tackle Blackberry Blossom high octave melody at 100 beats per minute. Let's go. All right, my friends, that is it for the Blackberry Blossom High Octave Melody. I really hope you've enjoyed this tune, and like I said before, adding different fiddle tune melodies in a few octaves across your instrument is really going to give you a broad 
palette of tools to use when you get into that next bluegrass jam session or play with a band. Being able to play these tunes in multiple octaves is just going to give you a better idea of your instrument's fingerboard and increase your fretboard knowledge, which is never a bad thing. Before we get out of here, if you enjoyed this lesson, go ahead and hit that like button below and the subscribe button so you get notifications whenever I upload a new lesson here. We've got more great fiddle tunes and other tips and tricks to help you along your guitar journey. Now, if you're interested in things like PDFs of the tab and sheet music, as well as backing tracks, play-alongs, and access to monthly Q&A calls, go ahead and check out the link below in the description to the Guitar Club. That's my premium membership service where you'll get all of those extra goodies, plus extended cuts of lessons and extra lessons not available here on YouTube. All right, my friend, thank you so much for checking out this version of Blackberry Blossom. I really hope that it serves you well. We'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.